Na, Fury, wie wär's mit einem kleinen Ausritt? Hast du Lust? Hi, Jim. Hi, boys. This is Mike Sharkey. Mike, this is my son, Joey, Packy Lambert, and that old coot's my partner, Pete Wilkie. Who's an old coot? Hi, Mike. I've been looking forward to meeting you. <laughs> well, it ain't often we get city slickers at the broken wheel. We'll fatten you up in no time. So why don't you boys take Mike over to the house? Get that bag away from me! Fury wouldn't hurt you. He's like one of the family. Sure, Fury wouldn't hurt a fly. Just keep him away from me. Are you sure you came to the right place, Mike? A horse ranch? I didn't ask to come here. Joey, why don't you help Mike get settled? Sure, Jim. Come on, Mike. You're bunking in with me. Jim, that colt's going to take a lot of breaking. Nah, he's not a bad boy, Pete. Just a little confused. Big Brother's program was founded to help boys just like him. You don't reckon his confusion is gonna rub off on our boys? You know the old saying, one rotten apple spoils the whole barrel. Nah, I'm not worried about our boys. As a matter of fact, I'm counting on them to help straighten Mike out. Okay, Big Brother, but something tells me straightening out Mike Sharkey ain't gonna be no picnic. <laughs> Come on. What kind of a dump is this? It's our house, Mike. Sure, what do you think? It is a jail? What do you mean by that crack? Well, I, uh, uh, nothing. Oh, come on, Mike. Why'd you have to go and do that, Fury? That hay burner tried to bite me. Well, he was just trying to make you feel at home. Some home. Now, wait a minute. Hold it, Packy. Come on, Mike, I'll show you to our room. <laughs> Take whichever bunk you want, Mike. We'll help you unpack. I don't need no help. Lunch is ready. I ain't hungry. How come everybody has to be so nice to Mike? He's not nice to us. I'll try to understand him, Packy. You see, fear makes people act like that sometimes. Supposing, well, supposing you were right in the middle of a big city. Wouldn't you be a little bit afraid of all the strange new things you saw? Not me. What about the time you went to the carnival? You were scared to death to get on the Ferris wheel. Well, I, uh, that was different. <laughs> so you feel safer than Mike because you've got a good home. Mike's never had that. He was raised in the streets. He's been kicked around so much, he thinks the whole world's against him. We'll do everything we can for Mike. You bet. Good. Could my dad be a big brother, too? Sure he could. 
Seems to me your dad got his hands more than full with you without taking on another young'un. <laughs> Say, how about getting Mike in here to eat? He needs some meat on his bones. Well, Mike will eat when he's ready. We have to give him time, Pete. We've done everything we can. Now it's up to him. Grub. So you brought me some grub. What am I supposed to do? Run up the flag? Oh, what kind of talk is that? My boy, they just had such a long train trip getting here. Well, if you don't eat it, I'll have to throw it out. Once you've tasted old Pete's beef stew and dumplings, I bet you'll say it's the best in seven counties. life? Need any help? Well, sure do. Much obliged. I uh, noticed by them empty dishes that you decided to eat your lunch after all. How'd you like the stew? It was okay. Okay? Is that all you can say for a dish of the best beef and potatoes and carrots and turnips in these parts? Well, maybe it was kind of great. Well, that's more <laughs> like it. Um, how would you uh, like to have a genuine cowboy belt, huh? How would I get anything like that? Maybe my Chinese lucky piece will get it for you. Is it real Chinese money? Real as chop suey and as lucky as a four-leaf clover. Chinese cook did that to me once, and it helped me to live through his cooking. <laughs> <laughs> now, this here spending money is uh, for odds and ends around the ranch. I reckon the cowboy belt could come under that heading. Now, the next time you go to town with Jim, you go to the dime store and buy yourself the best belt you can find. Gosh, thanks, Mr. Wilkie. And forget the mister. From now on, it's Pete. You understand? What's here? What's this? Moving day? No, it's a surprise for Mike. For me? What is it? The shafts. They keep your legs from getting scratched by brush and cactus when you're out riding. Who said anything about riding? Come on, try them on. Yeah. Yes, you are. Now, good. wait a minute. Here we go. You like these? Here, here, sure, here. here we are. How's that, eh? Yeah. There you are. How do they look? Looks kind of great. Swell. Well, I grew out of these boots, and I thought you might like them. Gee, thanks, Joey. You want to try them on now, Mike? Wait a minute, Packy. Let's show them Jim's surprise next. You mean there's something else? Mike, on this ranch, there's always something else. <laughs> Come on, Mike. <laughs> well, you're just in time, Mike. I want you to meet your horse, Buck. My horse? Sure. Come on over and get acquainted. He won't fight you. <laughs> oh, that wasn't so bad, was it? Your friends already. Gosh, I never had nothing like him before, Mr. Newton. Uh, this is just the beginning, Mike. While you're here, we're gonna teach you to ride and rope with the best of them. Why don't we take him for a ride right now? How about it? I guess I'll never learn any younger. <laughs> That's the spirit. You better take those off for your first ride, though. Here, I'll help you. How we doing? You sure trying hard. I'll go get our horses. Okay, there's your cowboy, Joey. Come on, Mike, I'll show you how to mount. But I don't know nothing about these hay burners. Well, the best way to learn is to ride one. Now grab the reins and the horn, put your foot in the stirrup, and up you go. You look fine up there, Mike. 
<laughs> like he's born to the saddle. <laughs> Coming along, Pete. No, I think I better take the station wagon into town and see about that carburetor, Jim. All right, we'll see you later. Now, Mike, just relax. Take it easy. That's the important thing. Buck's your friend. He'll understand. And Fury and me will be here to help you, too. Lucky and me, too. I guess I'm ready. Let's go. Well, a bonanza. Lum old boy, you've hit the jackpot. I'm really gonna sleep tonight. We had a big day. Yeah, real big. Aren't you sleepy? Not much. Well, you fellas better down already? You sure are. You forgot to open the window, Joey. Oh, I was doing all right just to get in the bed. How about brushing your teeth? Did you forget that, too? I brush mine. Well, I... Oh. Ooh. Yeah. That window, you opened it. Sure, guys your age need all the fresh air they can get. Well, I mean, if I wanted to get away, there's nothing to stop me. No bars or nothing. No, there's nothing to stop you, Mike. Nothing but the trust we have in each other. Things like honor, integrity. Well, I didn't mean it that way. Just, I can't get used to being so free. That's one of our most important possessions, Mike. Freedom. Like... Well, like I was free to choose you to come and stay with us. You mean you asked for me? Sure did. Right after I heard how you rescued that alley cat. You saved its life, didn't you? Well, that was nothing. Just couldn't leave her where she was. She was old and sick. Well, any boy that feels that way about animals deserves to have a chance. And that's what you're going to have here with us, Mike. That's what the big brothers are for. Gosh, Mr. Newton. Now, nah, you call me Jim, will you? Jim? You're the best big brother any guy ever had. <laughs> you get some sleep now. You got a big day tomorrow. How's this? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Dad, they're beautiful. <laughs> Good night, fellas. Good night, Jim. See you in the morning, Mike. You bet, Joy. That's right, Mike. Always check your sense before you mount. What do you think we ought to go today, Jim? Well, why don't you ride up to the high meadow and show Mike Eagle Point? Sounds good. Yeah, maybe we can find some more Indian arrowheads. I got some swell ones last time. I got them here someplace. Don't start looking for them now. We'll never get started. <laughs> Have a good ride. Bye. Say, Jim. Hmm? Did you happen to borrow my expense money? No, some of it missing. Some of it? All of it? It was $14 in there. Maybe that sneak thief paid us a visit. What sneak thief? The sheriff told me that someone's been raiding quite a few of the ranches lately. And that someone stole my Chinese lucky piece, too. Oh, now don't get excited, Pete. Must have happened while we were all away. 
I think I better give the sheriff a call. Yeah. Jim called me over to report a theft. Pete's expense money? You got any suspects, Sheriff? As a matter of fact, I do, Packy. Jim, isn't this the boy you took in on the Big Brother program? Yes, you bet it is. This is Mike Sharkey. Hello, son. Did you know the money was hidden in the cookie jar? Yes, sir. We all knew that, Tom. How about this hobo suspect you were telling me about? I picked him up yesterday for questioning. He's been seen hanging around some of the ranches, but I couldn't pin anything on him. Hmm. Uh, Jim, can I speak to you privately? Sure, I guess so. Now look, Jim, let me start off by saying that I'm in complete sympathy with this Big Brother program. But it's also my job to protect people's property. Oh, now wait a minute. That boy's no thief. I'd bet my life on it. How much do you really know about him? I know enough about him to have welcomed him into my home. He's a good boy, Tom. Well, then you won't mind if I question him. I certainly do mind. Look, if it'll help you any, I'll question him myself, in my own way. All right? Mike. I'd like to talk to you for a minute. What for? You and that cop done enough whispering for one day. You think I'd done it, don't you? You think I'm a thief? No, I certainly don't, Mike. And I'm sure that if we can just talk it over, we'll get it all straightened out. You remember what we were talking about last night? Trusting each other? What do you mean, trust? The first thing that turns up missing in that joint, now you blame for it. Nobody's accusing you. You don't have to. I know what you're thinking. But what was your idea of giving a guy a horse? Chaps and boots and telling him that you trusted him and saying that you asked for him. Here's your two dollars you give me for the cowboy belt. Take back all the rest of the stuff. I don't want it. I done it, Sheriff. I stole the money. And I'm ready to go with you. Just take me back where I came from. Mike, wait a minute. Thanks for nothing, big brother. Thing back. I guess I'd better go home. Now, wait a minute, Packy. I don't think Mike took a darn thing. Me neither. He was just saying that. You remember what the sheriff said about that hobo we picked up? I bet you he's the real thief. <coughs> Even Fury thinks so. What are we waiting for? Let's go find him. Chances are he'll be camped by the rocks. That's where all the hobos hang out. Come on. Yourself. Wasn't expecting visitors. You know, we were just out riding and saw the smoke from your fire. I never knew I built fires that showed smoke. You stopped by a ranch yesterday, didn't you? 
Now, what ranch would that be? A broken wheel. Broken wheel? Never heard of it. Ain't never been there, neither. Then what are you doing with Pete's lucky piece? What's that, boy? A Chinese coin was on the cookie jar that held our expense money. Are you trying to say I stole something from you? No, but that coin's proof that you were at our ranch. And I say I wasn't. Go get him, Fury. <laughs> I did it. I was looking for a handout, and I found the money, so I took it. <laughs> now, get him off of me. I told you I stole it. Okay, Fury, back. Mm-hmm. I see. Yes, send them in. Well, Mike, it looks like you've got some visitors. Who is it? The warden and some guards? Come in, Jim. Hello, Mike. They've come to take you home. Are you kidding? You don't want no thief around. Now who's kidding, Mike? Everybody knows that you didn't take that money. Oh, sure. Well, you can thank Fury and the boys for finding the real culprit. What do you mean? It was a hobo that stole it. Sure, Fury made him confess. We got him waiting out there for the sheriff right now. We all make mistakes, Mike. Even sheriffs and big brothers, too. I guess we can all learn a lesson from you boys in trust and honesty. Like I said, Jim, I guess you're just about the best big brother a guy ever had. <laughs> Jim? Just fine. Pete's now a bona fide big brother. Nice Good. going. And that ain't all. What's this all about? Why don't you open it up and find out? A cowboy belt. <laughs> With the real silver buckle. That didn't come from no dime store. Gee, that's swell, Mike. Sure is. I wish I had one like it. Well, we've got some more news for you, too, Mike. Sheriff Davis and his wife want you to pay them a long visit, starting off with a two-week camping trip. Gee, that's nice of them. I don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Fury just said it for all of us, Mike. You're pretty nice yourself. Yeah. <laughs>